Have you ever found yourself struggling to achieve a consistent plunge line on both sides of a knife? Did you spend a ridiculous amount of time filing with different types of files or grinding with a Dremel tool and still weren't happy with the results? Thanks to this video, you will learn how to build yourself a simple, cheap and easy to make DIY custom attachment to your 2x72 belt grinder. This tool will help you grind consistent plunge lines like a pro and quite fast. So, if you are a beginner bladesmith who doesn't want to spend a small fortune on an expensive platen available on the market, get busy and build one yourself just like I did. When you think about it, it's not that hard to build yourself a waterfall platen. All you need is a piece of mild steel L-profile attached right above the upper front roller and in parallel with the belt. So I decided to give it a go. After cutting the profile to length, I needed to cut out a clearance for the roller. Then I simply marked the mounting area by sitting the piece onto the belt. To mount the platen to the grinder, I drilled two 6mm holes in the mounting section. Then I transferred the position of the holes onto the grinder. Drilled the holes slightly smaller to tap them later with M6 thread. This way I didn't need to bother with bolt nuts on the other side. Next, I had to clean up the tipping point of the tool where the belt down falls. Now for the critical part which is the end point radius. I didn't have much of a choice here but to file it the old-fashioned way. When I was satisfied with the radius, I also realized I had to remove material from the opposite side to provide clearance for the belt. And, let's finally test it. As you can see, tracking is okay but the belt isn't quite sitting on the back of the platen. To solve this issue, I decided to enlarge the second hole in the mounting section of the platen with a die grinder. Now let's try again. As you can see, this slight adjustment shifted the angle precisely where it needed to be. Oh yeah! Now that the concept has proven to be effective, I need to make the platen proper flat, smooth, and more appealing to the eye. You can still see some deeper scratches in there but these won't affect the function at all. Now let's get round and clean all the remaining edges and corners. I also removed the rust from all the surfaces using my trusty angle grinder. Now that the waterfall platen is completely finished, I feel like addressing its pros and cons to give you an honest review of how it feels working with it. To start using the platen, you need to find the ideal tension of the belt. The sweet spot may vary with different types of belts. Finer grit belts are generally working much better as the larger grain belts are much stiffer and will not bend at the steep angle as easy. This will result either in much bigger radius or difficulties to get the belt running. The belt speed should also be reduced to about 20 to 30% of the usual steel grinding speed. Grinding on the platen also causes significant amount of friction, which generates quite a lot of heat. So it should be used for around 10 to 20 minutes at best. To wrap up the video, you should keep in mind that the primary use of the platen is to help you make consistent plunge lines and flatten the blade lengthwise. In this case, it also helped me make a sharpening choil of the knife. But it certainly is not supposed to be used for any kind of heavy-duty grinding. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, and I certainly look forward to using it on future projects. Thanks for watching and if you liked the video, give it a like, comment or subscribe. Thanks a lot.